If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt to solve the question on your own before getting started. What we can do to solve the question is draw a picture that first has a single resistance R and then has the additional resistance of two ohms in the circuit. Now we know that the circuit that contains the two resistors can be simplified by combining those two resistors into a single equivalent resistor. You want to ask yourself whether these resistors are in series or in parallel with one another and hopefully from the diagram we can see that they are in fact in series. So with series resistors we add the resistances to come up with an overall resistance. So let's go ahead and do that. So here is that equivalent resistor that we could obtain by adding the individual resistances. Notice that for both the new circuit as well as the old circuit that Ohm's law would apply. In other words we could set the potential of the battery equal to the current multiplied by the resistance. We can do that for the original circuit and we can also do that for the new circuit. Again notice that the resistance is the combined resistances of the two resistors. Also notice that in the second circuit we labeled the current I sub 2 and in the first circuit I sub 1. Now because the same battery is present in both the original and the new circuit, that means the potential of that battery is the same. So we could take the potential I1 times R and set that equal to the potential of the other circuit. Now our goal is to solve for R, so perhaps the first thing we need to do is distribute I2. We could then subtract this term over to the left hand side. We could then factor out a common factor of R. And then finally we can divide both sides of the equation by the term in parentheses. We can now plug in the known values for the currents as well as the resistance. And when we compute that we get a value of 8.0 ohms. So that is the value of the unknown resistance. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. You're also welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen and I'll do my best to send a YouTube video solution to you.